Then Levy, I knew as a boy at the club, and became very, very friendly with him when we were both managers. But Len often told me the story. He was doing national service at that time, and on his leave once, he popped into the club and saw Yogi. And of course, Yogi is interested. Here's a club, club member and doing national service. So he spoke to Len and asked him what he was doing. And Len told him he was based in Stirling in Scotland and he was doing mountain rescue. Len told me mountain rescue consisted to a small hill and back to the pub for the evening. And that was his national service. At the end of his leave, he returns to Stirling. He was there about a week, 10 days. His commanding officer called him in to his office. Len thought, hello, you know, hello, what have I done now? He marches into the office and salutes. And the commanding officer proceeds to tell him that he's had a communication from the war office that a certain Mr. Yogi Mayer has requested he be released from the army on special leave so he could teach club members, youth club members, about mountain rescue. Len was astounded, especially when his commanding officer gave him a two-week pass to return to the club to go to Switzerland on the club holiday. He returns, goes home first, packs a bag and goes to the club. Ah, Yogi said when he walked in. I'm glad you're here, Len. And Len tried to explain. He didn't know anything about mountain rescue. He'd only been up a hill. Yogi said, no, this is what you do first. All the boys are on the coach to go to the station. But behind was a little van with a trolley piled up with suitcases from about 40 odd people. He said, Len, I'd like you to drive the van and follow the coach. We're going to Victoria Station. But he omitted to tell Len there were still suitcases on the pavement outside the club. So Len, with the aid of one boy, starts putting these suitcases on the trolley when the coach pulls away. He hurriedly fills the trolley and luckily, Yogi had told him they were going to Victoria Station. So him and his assistant drive this van with the trolley behind to Victoria Station. There he's met by a porter. He explains to the porter he's got all these boys club suitcases. So the porter very willingly helps Len and the boy unload 40 suitcases onto his trolley and pulls the trolley into the station just in time to see the train that Yogi and the boys are on pulling out of the station. Then standing there with his trolley, a porter, a boy and 40 suitcases. No money and no tickets. Somehow or other, he persuades the guards at the end of the platform, when is the next train to Victoria? I've got all these suitcases for 40 boys. The train's just left. They've got my ticket and my boy's ticket. The guards allowed Len and the trolley and the boy onto the platform. When the next train pulled in, he loads, with the porter's help, everything onto the train. They get on the train and go to Dover. He hadn't got any tickets. When he gets off at Dover, unloads everything, another very helpful porter, because in those days, porters were very helpful. When he's going towards the ferries, he can see a ferry pulling away. He goes up to one of the staff and says, when's the next ferry to Boulogne? Oh, I'm sorry, mate. He said, that's the ferry to Boulogne. Len said, but there's 40 children on there and I've got all their luggage. Don't worry, mate. We'll put you on the next ferry. Next ferry, porters, staff are unloading 40 suitcases onto this ferry. No ticket, no ferry ticket, nothing. Him and his lad go on the ferry. They get off at Boulogne. 
at Boulogne, a train to Paris before they get a train to where they go. No yogi, no boys. A French porter, parlez-vous? Non. <laughs> boys, suitcases, Gare du Nord. Ah, ticket? No ticket. 40 suitcases, Len and his assistant all get helped onto this train with everything. Get off at Gare du Nord. Unload everything, trolley, platform, train pulling out. Yogi and the boys all waving. Porter, 40 boys, suitcases, no ticket. What do I do? They're there. French, very helpful. Next train, everything loaded on. 40 suitcases, assistant and Len to Thun in Switzerland. T-H-U-N, Thun, in the Bernice Oberland. They get off the train and lo and behold, there's Yogi and 40 boys with, like, with managers and Yogi says, where have you been, Len? <laughs> <laughs>